our hammer on to the uh, C natural there. So putting it all together. And that brings us to, actually I'll, I'll, track, I'll backtrack just for a second. So the whole 2-5 over B flat minor 7 to E flat 7 to A flat major 7 goes like this. Yeah, so we've got uh, B flat minor 7, E flat 7, A flat major 7, the play. From that point onwards, so if we're going from the A flat major 7, we go um, C, E flat, G, B flat, C. And this little chromatic part, so it's like 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, leads us to the third or the flat third of the D minor 7 chord. So, um, yeah, so we've got 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, with the E flat on beat 4, the and, a passing tone which leads us snugly into the flat third um, of D flat minor 7. And that little pattern from D minor 7 will cross um, also the G7 chord. So two beats each, D minor 7, G7 to C major 7. Pretty much well, exactly the same pattern we did um, through the other two fives. So it's flat 3, 2, 1, flat 7, and then we hit the G7 chord with third, flat 9, root, natural uh, flat 7 to the 3rd of the C major 7 chord. So we go... So we go... I'll recap the whole A section. So we go just nice and slow. chord and scooped back around to the third of the C major 7 chord so D minor 7 G7 C major 7 and that turns the whole um, first part of the exercise around so now what we're going to do is we're going to descend uh, through scales um, the, exact, the exact opposite of what we did before so with the C major 7 we're going to play kind of a bebop scale here we're going to go... So what that little fragment, that scale fragment there, it goes E, E flat to the 9, and then C, B, natural, that lines it up on beat 3. So we've got 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... That was right, yeah. So 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... Okay, and that'll lead us... That's, so that's for the C major 7 chord. Now going to the C minor 7 chord, um, we're going to go... Uh, flat third, four, five. I'm not really thinking of this as a flat six. I'm thinking of this as a semitone before the third of um, F seven. So it's one and two and three on beat three. We're hitting F seven there. So we've arranged the scale to hit the thirds, basically the chords. And that would be for the So that completes the 2-5 there, C minor 7, F7, B flat major 7. We do exactly the same thing as we do with the C major 7. Uh, and then we do the exact same thing with the B flat minor 7 to the E flat 7 to the A flat major 7, which is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And then we are on beat 1 for A flat major 7, so the notes were D flat, E flat, F, G flat for the D, for the B flat minor seven chord, and then G A flat B flat C flat. I'm calling this because we're approaching a C note. It's really a B, obviously. And then we land on C uh, for the A flat major seven chord. So one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so we're going to descend down um, that little bebop fragment again here for the A flat major seven chord. This time it's a little bit different, so we go um, 
one and two and three, there's the G on beat three. So uh, if I recap that, it's three flat three, two, one, seven, six, five, sharp five. And that little phrase there, over the A flat major seven chord, leads us back to the two five. Uh, in C major, so and the phrase we're going to play over that um, is an ascending one this time. So we go um, F G uh, F G A B flat B C D E flat E. So we go D minor seven G seven C major seven. So flat three four five flat six root, but really we're thinking of a semitone before the third of G seven four five. And flat six, but really we're thinking of a uh, semitone before the E natural in C major seven. So that completes that two five one and two and three and four and one, or D minor seven, G seven, C major seven. So that, that completes the uh, the second A. So I'll, I'll put that all together actually. So we go. there on that last 2-5 into the C major 7, there's a little bebop scale, and so I've gone down uh, 3, flat 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, you'll notice again, uh, beats 1, 3, there's the 7, and then we're back on beat 1 there, for, on the 3rd, 1, 3, and then that's the start of the um, A sec, uh, the B section, sorry. So that's the start of the B section, uh, which is uh, D minor seven for a bar, G seven, C major seven to A seven or A seven sharp five. So down with that section, we descend down uh, like a D Dorian bebop scale, I guess you could call it. One and two and three and four and so I've gone. Uh, this is I've done three note per string. Which is three or flat three, two, one, seven, flat seven, uh, six, five, four. So beats one and two and three. On beat three, we've landed on the C natural. One and two and three and four. And now we're going to ascend up um, the G mixolydian scale via the seventh. So we're going to go flat seven, natural seven, two, one. And that lines our chord tones up on, onto the beat. So one and two and three and four and and once again we're back at the third of C major seven. So putting that all together, we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Notice how that B natural hits um, beat three of the G seven bar. And continuing on from there, we go C D natural E flat to E which will land us on the third again for the C major seven. So we go one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one. Now this little pattern from the C major seven chord, we've got, um, I arranged it like that so we could meet the third of the A seven, um, sharp five. So that pattern there goes uh, three, flat three, nine, root, and there's beat three. We've landed on that seven. Five, three, two, and there's a nice little semitone voice lead down to the third of the eight A seven chord there. So it's one and two and three and four and one. So on beat one of the A seven chord, from then onwards we ascend up, like I guess you could call it a Phrygian dominant scale. So it's, it's we're basically going three, four, five, flat six, uh, flat seven. One and two and three, that lands on beat three. We go root note flat nine to the third. So I'll put that whole section together for you. One and two and three and four and one. Um that leads us to um, the second half of the B. So we're gonna ascend up from the D minor. 7 chord now, but from the flat 3rd, so we'll go 
one and two and three and four and and what we're doing, we're going flat third, four, five, six, flat seven, natural seven, leading into the root, second, and there's the flat seven of G7. So it's one and two and three. There we are once again, we're um, hitting the third beat with the uh, flat seven of the chord. Uh, one, so one and two and three and four and flat seven of G7. And we're descending straight down that sort of, um, well I guess you could, it's, it, I'm not really thinking of a key to be honest, so I'm just thinking of points, I'm thinking, so I've got flat 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, flat 9, root, flat 7, and that brings us to the point of C major 7, the third of, so that line of the G7 was F, E, D, C, B natural, A flat, G, F, and then E natural. So don't worry if you do get lost, there's a PDF attached to this so you can check out all the fingerings. So hopefully I've covered uh, most of those lines thoroughly. Worst case scenario, there's a PDF you can download to double check that. I'll put all that together, so we've got 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 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 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 So you'll notice that last bit. We went, uh, we arranged the scale for C major seven again. Just we've played this pattern already, I think. So we go three, four, five, six, seven, one, uh, two, and three, and that leads us into the two five, two beats each, D minor seven and G seven, and we do a little kind of hook around. We did this one earlier, but it goes. Um, hook around now to the third of the chords. So we go D minor 7, G7, C major 7, F, E, D, C for D minor 7, B, C, D, E flat for the G7, approaching the third of C major 7 there. So, um, and that leads us into the start of the um, last A section. So for the last A section, um, this study, it just we were sort of hooking, the way I think of it, we're hooking a, around from the thirds again. We're not going ascending and descending, we're sort of, we're going from this point, which is the third. So C major 7, going into C minor 7. Um, from that point onwards, we're going to go from the C minor 7 to the F7 to the B flat major 7. We're going to play this little hook around pattern which was exactly the same as the previous pattern we played. So that was flat third, nine, root, flat seven, and now onto the F7 chord, third, four, five, flat six to the third of the B flat major seven chord. So for C minus, C minus seven, F7, B flat major seven. Or you could think of it as flat third, nine, root, flat seven, third, four, five, flat six, third of the B flat major seven chord. Um, so from that point um, onwards, we we go to the B flat minor seven to the e flat seven to the A flat major seven, uh, and we go. So I went uh, B flat minor seven, B flat seven, A flat major seven. Same little pattern, but just played up here. And so instead of playing it um, there, I've played it here. Strings sort of start getting a bit twangy down there, so I just thought I'd move that. Um, okay, so we go. Um, now that last little pattern um, from the A flat major seven chord, we go. That's a little chromatic pattern, so we go C B B flat B natural C D E flat E natural to F, which is the third of the D minor seven chord. So it's chromatic, um, and you'll notice one and two and three and four, and the chord tones once again line up to the beats. So we go, uh, particularly beats one and three. So we go, uh, so third, two, third, five, sharp five, I suppose. So we go, and that leads us into the flat third of the D minor seven chord. 
So, and then we play that pattern again. So that whole little section there goes. And then I just finished off with that little segment again, so we're familiar with that. So I'll play that whole section from the B flat minor 7. So once again, we finished off um, after we played the A flat major 7 pattern. We hit the D minor 7 chord and we played this little what I call hook around lick or pattern. You know, we're we're descending and ascending back up to the thirds again. And there's a little hook around pattern for the last bar of C major 7. And then the last bar of D minor 7 to G7 to C major 7, finishing on the third. So once you've um, you know, learned the study, memorized it, and you can play it, then what you want to do is practice implementing little sections. So for example, if I took that little turnaround thing, hook around lick for that. that, I was just playing over the A section. Break it up a bit to sort of make it more like phrases, so... Alright, so hopefully you could hear that... That little hook around phrase in there. Thanks so much for joining me and I hope to catch you next time.